Next is a lecture to the student body of the Ohio State University, given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May twelfth, nineteen sixty nine, in Columbus, Ohio. So the rest of this evening will be Swami Bhaktivedanta will explain uh, his divine self. Uh, then we will continue chanting. Sankirtan function, uh, or it is called Sankirtan Yajna, sacrifice. Uh, there is a statement in Srinava uh, Bhagavatam that Sankirtanai Yajnai Prai Jajantihi Sumena. In this way, as Pope Jinsvas has explained to you, this is called Kali Yuga, a very degraded age. From the spiritual point of view, from material point of view also, people are uh, reducing the duration of life. Uh, and there are uh, multiple tendencies. They are saying, they are teacher. If you study scrutinizely, you will see that your status is illusion, your memory is illusion, your duration of life is also illusion in this college. There are many symptoms. So Bhagavat recommends for self-realization in this age simply by performing the sacrifice of Sankirtan. The Sankirtan Yajna uh, is so nice that at once you get transcendental ecstasy and from spiritual consciousness you all try to join in a child's desire like that. This is the effect of the Sankirtan Yajna. And Lord Chaitanya, the inaugurator of this movement five hundred years ago, he says that if you chant this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, then the first installment of your game will be that all the dirty things in your heart will be cleansed. And when we are in clean heart, then the next day will be Bhavamahadavagnimitbhavan. The problems of material existence will be solved. And when you are spiritually uh, steady on the platform of Sankrit and Yoga, then your original consciousness, Krishna consciousness, and its concomitant joyfulness begins. This thing also is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Naso Chati Nakam Chati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhavati Lavati Para. It is said there that when one comes on the platform of Puri, spiritual consciousness or Krishna consciousness, at that time he becomes completely joyful. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. Prasanna means joyful. Atma means soul. And the symptom is Nasosati Nakant. He does not lament, neither hanka. 
In the material existence, we have got two diseases, hankering for things which we do not possess and lamenting for things which are lost. But actually we don't possess anything. Everything belongs to God. That is the basic injunction. Kishara samitam sarvam. Whatever we see, that is the property of the Supreme Law. And this claiming that this is my property, this is my body, this is my country, this is my home, this is mine, this is mine, this is called illusion. Actually we do not possess anything. So when you actually come on the spiritual consciousness, you understand that nothing belongs to you. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma na Sochati Nakam. Kamsati means entering. And Sochati means living. Then the next stage is Samasarvesi Bhutesu. Then you can see everything or every living entity on the equal status. People are trying to come to that platform of uh, uh, oneness. But that is only possible when you come to the spiritual platform of Krishna consciousness. In the material platform it is not possible. Uh, practically we see the United Nations, they are trying to come to oneness of all nations, but they are afraid. Uh, simply the flags are increased. Instead of being united, we are increasing our flags. So, if you want actually oneness, then you have come to that platform of Brahma Bhuta, Prasanna, Prasannatma, joyfulness. Everyone is entering after joyfulness. How that joyfulness can be attained? That is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Ah, it's not Bhagavatam says, Savai pum saparo dharma jatu bhakti yadhokhati ahoy tuki aprati hata jayatma su prasidati. Atma means so, yourself. Yeah, we are everyone of us hankering after that peace and tranquility. How is it possible? Bhagavat says, jayatma su prasidati. Su prasidati is completely with unsatisfied. How this person? Natavai Punsakaro Dharma. That is the first class occupational duty by which you develop your love of God. That is first class. The taste of religion, every religion has got some conception of God. That's all right. But if by following the principles of that religion, if you see that you are developing your love up for God, then that is first class. Otherwise, Bhagavad says it is simply wasting time, living. Dharma Shanishtita Pumsa Vishakshena Kathasuja Nupadaira Tingjadi Sramaiva Hikevalam. The Bhagavad says that you are very nice man, you are very honest to your occupational duty. That's all right. But if by discharging your occupational duty you do not develop your eagerness to understand what is God and what is love of God, then Agva says it is simply laboring and wasting time. That is the test. And why we should try to uh, increase our love of God? That is also explained. Ahituti aprati hata jayatma saprasida, suprasida. Ahoytuke, without any cause, we should love God without any cause. That's why we go to temple church with a motive. We go there, O oh God, give us our daily bread. I have come to you for my bread. This is not love of God. This is love of bread. <laughs> So, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given a nice uh, sample of love. Uh, he is playing the part of Radharani. Radharani 
is the conjugal consort of Krishna. Our Krishna consciousness is not dry. Is he the picture, Radha and Krishna? Krishna, he is a boy, sixteen years old. And Radharani, a young girl, a little younger than Krishna. They are enjoying Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna Pranayavititi Allahadani Shakti Rasma. There are different potencies of God. Parasya Shakti Vividhai Vastriyate. In the Vedic literature in point, Vida. God has many energies. Parasya Shakti. Shakti means energy. Power. Vividhai Multi, various. Parasya Shakti Vividhai Vastriyate. This is the injunction of Veda. He cannot find anyone equal or greater than God. Nobody can be equal with God, nobody can be greater than God. Then he is not God. Na kasya sama adhikasya. Sama means equal. Adhika means greater. Natasya sama adhikasya dhrishyate. They are analyzed with God, the great saviour, the liberated sojay. They are not fools to accept that they will accept anyone God. No. They will test. This is the test. If you find somebody that he is uh, neither lower than anyone, neither important, then he is God. There are other many definitions of God. Oh. Vaisadyasa, Samaprasya, Vijasya, Jasya, Satya. Analytical test. Try to understand God. This is the only business of human form of life. Not that simply eating, sleeping, and making, and defending. These are animal business. The animal law. How to eat, how to sleep, how to make, and how to defend. In its own way. So, that is common formula for human being or animal. But there is one speciality in human society or human being. He can understand God. What is God? If I explain to a human being, however illiterate, uneducated he may be, if he has simply these two years, he will understand what is God. Therefore, the basic information is called Suti. Just try to hear. We haven't got to uh, be educated or literate. God has given you these two years and you can learn. Simply you have to learn from the authorized source. Then you will understand God. And when you understand God, then you develop love of God. And when you develop love of God without any motives, and without any impediment, then we find, oh, shāmīṁ kitāthosmi varaṁ na jāte, I have no more any demand. I am completely satisfied. Try to come to this platform, transcendental state. Uh, you cannot be happy simply by material advancement. That is not possible. That is explained in the Śrīmad Bhāgavata. Parādhavastāvata bodha jāta. Every one of us Arrested, born ignorant. But we have got the capacity to get the message of God from authorized information. That we have So, Bhagavad says, Parabhavastavada Bodha Jata, all living entities who are born ignorant. Whatever they are doing for advancement of society, culture, education, civilization, uh, all such activities are defeat only if he does not inquire what he is. Parabhavastava Dabud Jata Javana Jigyasata Atmatatyam Atmatatyam wants. So long one does not inquire what I am. What is God? What is this material nature? What are these activities? What are our relationships? If these inquiries are not there, then all our activities are simply defeated. Parāvata-pastāvata-bhūta-jāta jāvanna-jīgyāsa-tayāsa-tattam 
జావన్న ప్రీతి మై వాసుదేవ్ సో లాంగ్ వన్ డస్ నాట్ డెవలప్ హీస్ డార్మెంట్ లెవ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ నముచ్చతే దేహ నిరోగేన తావత్ సో లాంగ్ హీ నాట్ ఏబుల్ to get out of this repeated birth and death and transmigration of the soul. This transmigration of soul, repeated birth and death, is a disease condition of the spirit soul that we do not know. Neither in our education system there is any department of knowledge teaching what is this soul, what is after death, what was before birth. There is no science. It is very lamentable. Education, uh, in the name of simply eating, sleeping and making, this is not education. Uh, if my bodily conception continues, the Bhagavad says, Dasyatu buddhi kuna petri dhatu. Anyone who is thinking that this body of flesh and bone is self, he is an ass. Uh, Sayeva gokhara. Go khara, khara means that. The shatu buddhi kunapi didhati de sadhik kalutra visu bhoma ijadhi. And by conceiving this body as self, they have no reason, they have common reason that this bag of place, bone, urine, stool and secretion, can it be soul, can it be self? But they are finding out by exercising this body to find out this. The soul is there, but you cannot see by material instrument. It is very fine. It is one ten thousand part of the teeth of your hair. These are explained in the Vedic literature. So how you can find with your material? You cannot see. And because you cannot see, you are concluding there is no soul. Uh, that is the ignorance. There is. There is soul, and this body has developed on the platform that the soul and that soul is migrating from one body to another. That is called evolution. And that evolution is process is going on. Eight million four hundred thousands of species of life, uh, aquatic, birds, bees, plants, and so many species of life. And we have got now the developed consciousness, human form of life. We should properly utilize it. That is our Krishna consciousness moment. We simply educating people, don't waste your valuable life, the human form of life. If you are missing this chance, you are committing suicide. That is our problem. Don't commit suicide. Get to the Krishna consciousness. Ah. And the process is very simple. We haven't got to take difficult processes like yoga system or philosophical speculative system. That is not possible in this age. That is, uh, I am not speaking from my own experience, but I am taking the experience of uh, big asali and big uh, stalwart sages. They say that kalo nāsriva 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 gatiranatha. If you want to realize yourself, if you want to know what is your next life, if you want to know what is God, if you want to know what is your relationship with God, All these things will be revealed to you. This is real knowledge. By simply chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. It is practical. Uh, we are not charging anything. We are not bluffing you. That means I shall give you some something secret mantra and charge you fifty dollars. No. It is open for you. Please take it. That is our... Uh, We are begging it. Don't spoil your uh, life. Please take this mantra, John, wherever you like. Uh, it does, it does no hard and fast rules you have to follow. Whenever you like, wherever you like, any condition of life, just like we chanted uh, uh, half an hour before, any condition you felt ecstasy. Similarly, you can continue this. Chant this Hare Krishna mantra. Uh, It is given to be free. But if you want to know what is this Hare Krishna mantra, through philosophy, through knowledge, through logic, we have got volumes of books. Don't think that we are simply sentimentally uh, dancing. No, we have got background. Uh, 
So try to understand this Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, I will specially come to your country to deliver in this good message. Because if you accept it, if you can understand this science of Krishna consciousness, other part of the world will also follow and the face of the world will be changed. That is a fact. Uh, so therefore, I request you that uh, you take this chanting Hare Krishna mantra with you and wherever you live, in whatever condition you are, you don't require to change. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended that sthāne sthita sudhigatāṁ tanumāṁ manovhi prāyesa adhita jita prasīta isti lakyāṁ. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, discussed about spiritual realization with one of his great devotees called Rāya Rāmānanda. And uh, Rāya Rāmānanda placed before him many theories uh, expounded in the Vedic literature. And at last, when uh, Rāmānanda Rāya placed this verse from Śrīmad Bhāgavatam, that jñāne prāsaṁ mudapāsaṁ namantaiva, don't be foolishly try to speculate to understand the unlimited. It is not possible. By your teenage, uh, in a sense, you cannot understand the unlimited. It is not possible. Therefore, the first recommendation is that jnana prayasam udhapasa. Don't try to be a dry uh, speculate to understand the ultimate truth. Namanta, just become meek and humble. Uh, Namantaeva sanamakaritam abhavati yavartam. And try to receive the message from authorized sources. Uh, then sthāne sthita sutigatāṁ tanuvāṁ manavi. In whatever condition you are, you don't require to change. You simply hear, then a day will come when you will be able to conquer the Supreme Lord who is unconquerable. God is great, nobody can conquer. But if you simply follow this process, then in whatever condition you are, simply try to hear about God from authorized sources, then one day you will be able to conquer God within your head. Uh, this is also confirmed in the Dham Brahma Sangita. Addaita yachyataya nādhyananta rūpam ādhyam purāna purusam navajogananca vedesu durlava durlava yāta vattva. You cannot find out, simply find out, uh, uh, searching in the Vedas or scripture where is God. You have to conquer Him by your love. He will reveal to you. Uh, that is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Vesham satadiduktanam bhajatam priti purvatam buddhi yogam dadanitam jinamam upajantate. Everything is clearly explained there. Please try to read this Bhagavad Gita as it is. It is science of God. You will understand, you will realize, and chant this Hare Krishna mantra. This Hare Krishna mantra will cleanse your heart, and after cleansing your heart, if you read one chapter of Bhagavad Gita, you will understand gradually what is God, what you are what is your relationship with God, and when you understand all these things and you develop your love of God, you become perfectly happy. So we want to see you all happy. That is our problem. Sarve Sukhina Bhavantu, every one of you become happy. But you must take the path how you can be happy. This is the path, Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Thank you very much.
ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜನ ರಂಜನ ಜಮೋನಾ ತೀರ ಜಮುನಾ ತೀರ ಬನ ಸಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ಬಲ್ಲವ ಗಿರಿ ಬರಧಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ಬಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ಬರಧಾರಿ ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮೋನ ತೀರ ಬನ ಚಾಧಿ ಯಮೋನ ತೀರ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಪುಂಜಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಪುಂಜಿಹಾರಿ ಜಾಯಂ ಸ್ವಾ ಪರಮಂಸ ಪರಿಭ್ರಾಜರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತರೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸ್ಮಾರತಿ ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಭಗವಾದಿ ಜಯ ಅನಂತಪೂರಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಂದಿ ಜಯ ನಾಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಜಿ ಜಯ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಸುಪಹೋ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾ ಶಿವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಗೌ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮ್ ಖಂಡ ರಾಧಾ ಖಂಡ ಗಿರಿಯೋಜನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನವದೀಪ್ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಗಂಗಾಮಾಯ ಜಮುನಾ ಮಾಯ ಕಿ ಜಯ ದ್ವಾರಕಾ ಧಾಮ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ತೋ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಸುಧಾಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್